So, Dan, for you, an estimated 7.5 million people will lose their benefits when the federal emergency benefits do end. So, Dan, do you see these people then going back into the workforce or are we going to see an uptick then in people needing some social program help? I think that we we should be seeing people going back to work. Look, Edward, if you look on Main Street America, everyone is trying to hire. And what's ironic about these programs for assistance, you know who got the greatest level of assistance? Corporate America. I'll tell you why. Because as wage inflation hit, What happened was the large corporations were able to absorb those costs. The businesses on Main Street were not. So the result here is businesses on Main Street going out of business. And let's look at corporate earnings on Wall Street going through the roof. So President Biden wanted to help the little guy, but he really hurt small businesses. Yeah, the big seem to get bigger there. I pose this to you. We had three and a half percent unemployment in February under the last administration. Can we get back there, do you think? Well, we should be able to get back there because if you think about this logically, what really has changed? Before the pandemic, everyone was working Inflation was under control. Economy was humming along. Now, fast forward to where we are today. We have wage inflation. We have a lot of people unemployed and businesses can't find people. The math doesn't add up. Where have all these people gone? Now, I understand that there are single moms and people who can't get back to work, and and those circumstances exist, and I agree that the government needs to help. However, there has to be a lot of people that are choosing to be unemployed, and unemployment should not be a career option. If you can work and and you're healthy enough to work, go back to work. 